welcome back my friends today we are going to see about a another modding tutorial video in this video we are going to learn about texture modding tutorial for demon slayer game come on guys let's get into this video okay guys first of all you need these modding tools i provided the links of these tools in the description of this video you can download directly the first one is u model u model is an application where we can extract textures from the game the second one is the unreal engine you all know about it by using this unreal engine we can edit game assets even we can create game too the third one is unreal pack by using this we will repack our modified files into mods or pack files fourth one is asset editor by using this we will edit the asset values so for this texture modding tutorial only we need first one u model and then unreal engine and then unreal pack so asset editor will not used in texture modding tutorial okay guys now open u model application just click browse and then choose your game installation directory I install game in my Steam, so just open Demon Slayer, APK, Content, Packs, and then click Select Folder button. Once you click Select Folder button, then you need to enable Override Game Reduction, and then choose Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 4.25 Plus. Under the platform, you need to choose PC or you can leave Auto, then click OK. Now the actual tutorial starts. Uh, what we can mod? Okay, uh, so for this tutorial, I like to mod or change the outfit of Nesuko color from pink to yellow. I think that will looks good. Come on, let's start modding. Okay, first expand APK and then content, then art, and then you need to expand model, uh, then PLC. Uh, here you can see the files. So these are the each and every character which starts with the P001, Tanjiro and Nezuko, Zenis2 okay, and so on. So for this tutorial, I am going to mod the Nezuko outfit as I said earlier. So just expand Nezuko, then V00, C00 and then you can see the different folders and then click the texture folder. So in this folder, we have the texture for the Nezuko default outfit. Now you need to choose carefully only the selected files. Maybe I am going to change only the body and pattern color of a Nesuko. So for this you need to select only these two which ends with AC and DI. So body AC and body DI and then hair AC and hair DI and then pattern AC and pattern DI. You can edit any texture you want by using the same method. Once you selected the texture files then click export button. It asks where to export these files. So maybe I am going to create a new folder like uh, Demon Slayer Mods and then open create new folder. Hello, Nesuko. Copy this location and then paste to your U model application. And then leave as like it is, no need to change anything. Then click OK. So once done, we can see the folders are created based upon the structure as per the game. So just open art, model, PLC, Nezuko, V00, C00, then texture. You can see only the selected textures. Now you need to open these texture by using Photoshop application. Okay, as I said earlier, I am going to change the Nezuko outfit from pink to yellow. So these are the files which I am going to modify. So this is a body color. And then this is another body color, hair color, and then pattern color. One eternity later. So now the textures are edited. So you can see I'm just changing all the colors to yellow. Then close the Photoshop. So now these are the modded yellow textures for Nesuko. Now go back to your Demon Slayer modding tools, then open Unreal Engine. So this is the Unreal Engine application. Now click New Blank Project and click Next, Next, 
and then you can choose any name you want so i'm going to give hello nesuko and then click create project you can give any name you want for your project So that's it. The Unreal Engine has been opened with a new project named as Hello Nisuko. So now here you are going to add the files. Just go back to your textures where you extracted, then go to root directory and then drag the art into our Unreal Engine. So these are the textures which we modded. So now click file and then save all. Then click file again and then choose cook content for windows option. On the bottom right corner you can see cooking content for windows. Just wait until the cooking is completed. So now the cooking has been completed. Open your computer. Navigate to documents and then unreal projects. Open the project which you have created. Open Hello Nesuko folder, then open saved folder. In the saved folder, you can see another folder named as cooked. So here, you can find the cooked files in this folder only. Open the cooked folder, then Windows No Editor. And then here you can see the two folders, Engine and Hello Nesuko. Open the Hello Nesuko. Then open Content folder and then open Art. Or just copy the Art. So inside the Art folder, you can find the texture files which are converted into unreal engine assets just copy the art folder and then go back to your modding tools then open unreal pack you can found pack chunk 0 windows no editor folder you can keep this folder or you can create a new folder it doesn't matter so just i'm using this folder open this folder then open the apk folder if you don't found anything like apk content then you need to create the folder like this so these are the structures which we can see in u model so first one is a apk uh, then content third one is a art so we can find the art folder from our cooked unreal projects so just copy the art and then paste it in the content folder i am repeating it again open the unreal pack open the pack chunk folder apk content if you don't found these two folders you need to create it and then paste the cooked files. That's it. Go back to your Unreal Pack folder and then drag this folder into Unreal Pack with compression. So once you drag and drop, it will say Pack Executed. So then click any key to exit the window. Now you can see the file name. You can rename it as Hello Municipal. Okay, now copy this file and then Go back to your same game installation directory. Demon Slayer, APK, Content, Packs. So these are the main packs for the game files. So now we are going to install our modified pack file. So create a new folder like this, mods, and then paste it here. That's it. We successfully made a texture mod for Nesuko. Now it's time to launch the game. Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Hinokami Chronicles. The game has been launched, then click start game. You can do this, Tanjiro! And then navigate to archives Let's to check it. if your mods installed correctly. Open the battle attire and then choose Nesuko Kamado. So now you can see the Nesuko has been changed into yellow color. Now let's test this texture mod. All right. Hmm. I'll use the breathing technique my father taught me. One cuts my thread. Fight! <laughs> 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 Rest. 
really. Enough. Uh, Round three. Uh, Fight. Okay. Uh, 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 Bond that Nezuko and I share. <laughs> Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba. That's it, guys. We successfully created a texture mod for Nezuko. Also, we tested it. Please leave a like, share, and comment button if you really enjoyed this video. See you in my next video guys. Bye bye. Signing off. JP.